Hello everyone. Now we are going to understand about the velocity time graph for uniform acceleration. It is very important. So I am marking here I M P. It is important. V I M P. Very important. Okay. The change in velocity of the car in a specific time interval are given in the following table. So here the data which is given here the given data we have. Okay. It is. The for the time in second, and here we have velocity in meter per second. So for zero second, we have velocity zero. Okay, so the coordinate will be zero and zero. Okay, then for after five second, the velocity has reached on eight. Okay, so it is the difference between here and here will be eight. From six eight to sixteen will be again difference is eight. On sixteen to twenty four again eight. The difference between twenty four and thirty two again eight. So as we can see here, all the time velocity is increases uniformly. Means in every five second, okay, velocity is increases by ten meter. So we can write here in given table, okay, velocity of the car of the Car increases increases by eight meter per second in every five second. Understood, everyone? Very important. Okay. And the difference of time is again five. Here we have five between ten to five. We have again difference. Here also difference is of five. Here also, so each time we have difference of five only. So time is uniform and velocity is increasing uniformly by eight meter per second in every five minute. Understood that everyone? Okay. Now we have to draw the graph for that. So see here, first point we have zero and zero. So we have time zero, velocity zero here. Then five to ten. So here we have five, five to eight. So here we have five and here we have eight. So this will be our second point. Someone is in waiting room. Wait a second. Vishali. Okay. Then for third point, we had ten and sixteen. So we have ten here and sixteen here. So next point will be that one. For again next point, we have fifteen and twenty-four. So fifteen will be here and twenty-four will be here. So this is going to be our next point. Then twenty to thirty-two. So twenty and thirty-two. So next point will be over here. Then we have twenty-five and forty. So twenty-five here and forty is over here. Then thirty and forty-eight. So here we have thirty and here we have forty-eight. So that will be the next point. And the last point will be over here. So this is the way we have drawn a straight line going through all the points. So we are getting here straight line. Okay. So this is the way we had to draw the graph. So now we had to like write or understand observation of the graph now. Okay. See first point here we have first point very important. Now huh? the velocity changes by equal amount in equal interval of time. So yes, all the time eight meter per second of velocity is increasing in every five second. Every Five second. Okay. Thus, this is uniformly accelerated motion means the car. Okay. For that, the data is given here that car is moving with the uniform acceleration. How much does the velocity changes every five minute? We have already calculated here. It is eight meter per second. So answer will be eight, eight. meter per second. Now, next second point. For all uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity time graph is a straight line. Yes. So for all the uniform acceleration, you know the graph will be straight line with positive slope. So I'm writing here again extra point here. Graph is a straight line with positive slope. Positive slope. Huh? Okay. Yes, it may be straight line also. See, in previous example of the train, there was the like sixty kilometer per. You know, all the time like velocity acceleration was zero only. All the time acceleration was zero. 
If zero is all the time, that means it was Plus again. Velocity was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, even velocity remains constant. That there will be acceleration is uniform. Why uniform? Because all the time we were getting zero value. Okay, so positive. Okay, or maybe negative also. If it is decreasing. So uniform retardation, sir. So negative. Yeah. Yeah, that will be uniform retardation. So for all the time, like for positive acceleration, for zero acceleration, for negative acceleration, may be uniform. Okay, yeah, so, so it may line, that uh, yes, that okay. straight line slope may be positive, may be negative, or may be zero, or a straight line with parallel to time axis. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. How uh, yes. uh, we are calling this velocity time graph for uh, uniform acceleration, sir. Yeah, it is uniform acceleration. Then train example, what we can call? No, no, I have. Oh, okay. It is also for like the you know, same thing is here also because here all the time we are getting acceleration. See, here it is given for the uniform acceleration. Okay, we are in that car example, and here it is given for uniform velocity. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah, this is the difference between these two graphs. Okay, third point very important. Okay, so for non-uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity time graph may not be, uh, may be any shape. Okay, it shouldn't be straight line. Maybe like this, maybe like this, maybe like no, it is not like that. It will be like any shape, but not a straight line. Okay, sir, uh, I think in a uh, certain distance time graph, if the line is parallel to time axis, the yeah. just rest straight. Yeah, yeah, we will go through that also. No, um, we are discussing third point here. See, suppose here we have the graph. If it is not a straight line, then it is called as non-acceleration, like non-uniform acceleration. Okay. So the depending on the how the acceleration changes with time, we can draw the graph for that also. Okay. If it is straight line, so it is uniform. If it is not a straight line, maybe in any shape, so it is non-uniform acceleration. Understood, everyone. Okay. So now we sir, have to yes. Sir, for second uh, second point, it is also for a negative slope. Yes, yes. It is also for negative slope. Beta. It is for negative. It is for positive. It is for zero also. Okay. Yeah. Now, from the graph in figure, we can determine the distance covered by the car. Between tenth and twentieth second. Okay, so we have to check the graph here. See, on tenth here we have the ten second beta. Here we have ten second. The velocity is here thirty two. So sixteen, uh, sorry, sixteen. Okay, and for twentieth second it is thirty two. So we are we have here thirty two. So we have to calculate average velocity here. So thirty two plus sixteen divided by two. So thirty-two plus sixteen will be forty-eight. So forty-eight divided by two. So forty-eight divided by two will be twenty-four, right? So twenty-four meter per second will be the average velocity. Sir, also you can tell rate uh, displacement by total time. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Two forty by ten. Yeah, yeah. Sir? So it is yes. Average velocity is uh, initial velocity minus. Yes. No, no, no. Average means initial final, velocity plus final velocity divided by two is average velocity. Yes, sir. And or or yeah. there's another formula: displacement by total time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now. Then why are you doing your uh, addition? Because we are calculating average velocity with average. Suppose you had twenty marks in science, okay, and uh, thirty marks in math. If you, I'll ask you to average mark. So you have to add both divided by two, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah, but this is only for uniform velocity, right? For non-uniform velocity, you have to use displacement by total time. Yeah. Okay. Let's do why we are taking. Uh, what is average? Is? Okay. Now we have to like calculate the distance, average velocity. So average velocity time difference is called as distance. So distance will be what? The time difference is 
ट्वेंटी माइनस टेन विल बी टेन ट्वेंटी माइनस टेन विल बी टाइम डिफरेंस इन टू एवरेज वेलॉसिटी ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी माइनस टेन विल बी टेन इन टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई वी विल गेट टू फोर्टी मीटर पर मीटर ओनली ओके सो दिस इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल Everyone understood that.